I've just been into town because my friend Tina works in the shoe shop where I get these pretty boxes from that I keep my stock in and unfortunately our branch of Moshula is closing down. My friend Tina is going to be out of a job next week so she's very sad understandably um, but they have a big old clear out obviously they've got empty all the stuff at the shop so I picked up a load of empty boxes that we're going to be going just in the bin. How cute is that? Uh, do I need them? No, I really don't. Not at this point in time. Maybe in time I will. Um, I really like that we're reusing something that would otherwise be wasted in the business, but I have quite a lot. So I'm just going to hide behind this wall of boxes. That's all. And now, of course, I've got to find somewhere to put them all, which is a whole other story. Ooh, that's harsh. Please excuse the revolting lighting. So we've just been out to pick up the sofa. It was dark, so it's hard to tell. Um, and the people getting rid of it said that it did need a clean. So it's going to be a little bit grubby, but it looks really comfy. It's just a fabric one, but it's a sofa bed. I wanted a leather one, but beggars can't be choosers. So I'm going to get Johnny's tape measure. I know it will fit on this wall. It doesn't fit on the green wall, which is a shame because ideally that's where it would have gone. So I'm just going to have a little measure and work out where it's going to go. Because it's a sofa bed, obviously ideally we need to be able to pull the bed out and not have it hit one of the doors. <laughs> Which when you've got four walls with four doors, it's uh, a little trickier, I feel. It is uh, the following day um, and I'm just waiting for Shelly to turn. It's snowing. Are you freaking kidding me? It's just start snowing. I am such a child. Let's take this outside, shall we? You're not going to be able to see it. It's minuscule. It's snowing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Bloody love this snow. Anyway, we're waiting for Shelly to turn up and then we're gonna go out and take some photos of the foraging bags in the snow, apparently. Come on, settle. The ground is frozen. If we get a massive belting of snow, it might settle. Please, 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 please. So this is Shelly, her van and her pup. And before she turned up for work, I messaged her and said, the ground's frozen, why not park around the back? So everything that happens from this point forward is entirely my fault. We got the van magnificently stuck, so we just left it and figured that one of the men folk would come and rescue us at some point later in the day. And if you're wondering who the heck Shelley is, uh, in my last video, I think it was, I mentioned that I'd hired one of my friends just part time, just a few hours a week to come and help me out with the new leather business and try and keep me on track with everything that I need to do and probably won't. Um, and apparently part of her job now is being my snow model too. Who knew? <laughs> Thank you, Shelley. The photos came out beautifully. Yeah, I got all your swear words and everything. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> and this is the point in the story where things start getting a little bit hairy. So this is my brother wearing shorts on our little tractor, which didn't manage to do anything. So then I messaged Johnny, who was at work, and so he came up with the work tractor. Um, and I was stood watching this and I just honestly thought her axle was going to break. I was terrified at this point. Bless Johnny, he does love a good challenge. So we managed to kind of manoeuvre it a little bit and then he decided to drag it backwards. Please excuse the cat squeaking. He managed to drag it back into the field. Um, and then, oh my goodness me, watching those wheels go the wrong way. And then, thankfully, managed to get it down the track. They've done it. 
my heart is beating like I don't know what. That was terrifying. That's a heavy van. She was slipping all over the track. I was caught between the van and a trench that runs along the side of the truck. Good job we know a gardener. I actually feel sick. My heart is beating so fast. That was terrifying. Um, that was terrifying. I, I just said to the camera, I feel sick. I, My heart a, is racing. So I thought fast. I was going over the edge. <laughs> Look at this bit here. Holy moly. And this is the part where the van was slipping and I was in there between the van and that trench. Holy cow. <laughs> Let's see the rest of, of the chaos. Holy moly, that was terrifying. <sighs> anyway, Johnny has now scoffed his lunch, God loving him. In about seven minutes, he had to eat his lunch. He's gone back to work. Shelley's just left too. That was just a morning of utter chaos. What I didn't share with cameras, when we were outside in the garden with the rose hips taking the photos and stuff, which have come out great actually, uh, when we were out there, I must have stood in a gigantic dog turd because I got back in the house and I'm like, da da da, pottering around, making her a coffee, doing this, doing that. And I'm like, what's that smell? And I actually thought the cat had pooped somewhere in the house. She's not a pooper in the house, thankfully. Um, and I couldn't work out where the smell was coming from until I picked up my shoe and was like, oh my God. And it was hoofing. My whole shoe was covered and I'd trodden it all through the damn house. It stank. All this chaos in my life today. I think I now just need to sit and do a nice calm job, drink a nice calm chamomile tea and have a nice relaxing afternoon. Good morning. It's a few days later now. We've all recovered and chilled out. Uh, last night, Johnny and I got to work on cleaning out the roof lights. They're not roof lights. I don't know what you call this. Oh, hang on. Let me turn the camera around. It'd be much easier. Um, I think it was in the last video I showed you these revolting, <laughs> like, skylight things. I don't know what they're called. Um, they're full of dead bugs. That's like insulation and crap up there. There's been leaks over the years. There's, it's just gross. Anyway. Last night we did this. how much light is coming in and this and how much light is coming in that's crazy unfortunately having overhead lighting isn't the most flattering and I don't have makeup on yet today either but it like highlights all the like bags under your eyes and stuff so it's not going to win me any beauty contests but it's going to give me a lot more light to work in which is great so today's revolting job is sorting that one out and in other news I have two orders to get out today so at some point I need to get in here and actually make some space to package them up my second A5 journal heading off to Germany and I found a new little gift to pop in a box instead of the coffee and everything and also I've got these really cute little paper bags from Amazon which I just think are adorable five different designs on them I think they're really lovely um, and I think that's probably better for the planet than the little cotton bag that I was using so I will swap those out as I use the cotton bags up um, I will replace with these instead I just wanted to see what it looked like and how cute is that love it the farmer on the farm where Johnny works was away for a couple of days so when he goes away Johnny steps in and looks after the sheep and does everything that needs doing on the farm um, so on this day I thought I'd tag along with him it was a beautiful sunny day really really cold and crisp it was so so gorgeous so I just tag along I open the odd gate for him I generally always take photos or video I love it 
It's such a beautiful corner of the world. Um, and when I was growing up, my dad had sheep on the farm that we live on, so it's really nice to kind of hang out and see the lambs. And yeah, yeah I really enjoy it. This is Meg, the farmer's dog, and she is a nutter. I adore this dog. You'll see her in a little while just running for her life. She's I, Where she gets her energy from, I just don't know. I'd love to get a collie, but they need so much exercise. As you can probably tell, she does this every day. She can run for hours. She is just an incredible dog. Well, we're back at the neighbour's farm and we've dropped the buggy off because there's obviously something quite wrong with it. Um, and Johnny's just taken the quad bike and he's just gone to finish off the last couple of fields. So I'm going to wait in here and stay nice and warm. So I think I'm going to call the video here. As always, have yourself a great week and I'll catch up with you next Friday. Mwah.